Do you want to know how to make awesome looking 2D 3D hybrids and 2D top down games in Unreal Engine 5? After playing gorgeous looking titles such as Octopath Traveler 2 and Live Alive which were created with Unreal, I definitely wanted to know and I spent the last 6 months doing research and building multiple prototypes. I ended up with 3 different projects that I believe perfectly teach the process of making awesome 2D top down games in Unreal and made an expansive 17 hour course teaching you everything step by step. Please check out the discount link in the description to get it. You might ask what exactly will be covered in this course. Well, I know you're probably most excited about the 2D 3D hybrid right here, but I'll start explaining things from the beginning. The first project is inspired by the overworld sections of those classic monster catching games I'm pretty sure all of you know about. Here you'll learn the fundamentals of making 2D games in Unreal such as importing assets, ideal project settings and creating tile maps. We'll then implement top down character movement and handle character animations and directionality from scratch. Details such as proper layer sorting will also be covered. To close things out, you'll learn how to make a simple interaction system to open up treasure chests and talk to NPCs. In the second project, we'll build up on that foundation and create a top-down action adventure with actual combat. This time around, I'll show you many workflow improvements such as one-click generation of all animations, using the free Paper ZD plugin to set up animations with 8 directions, using anim notifies to trigger hitboxes and much more. Melee combat is actually quite tricky to get right and will cover details such as knockback, hit stop, sprite flashing and player invincibility. We'll also create a pickup system so we can replenish health and pick up the bow and arrow. And all of that is gonna work with the UI we create. To finish up the game loop you'll learn how to create a wave based spawn system for our enemies. And that brings us to the last project in this course which is the 2D 3D hybrid RPG. I spent a long time getting this art style down for both the pixel art and the camera and post process settings in the engine. These three characters who show up in the game are original creations by me and you'll of course get all the necessary files. The map is an amazing asset from the permanently free collection on the Unreal Engine Marketplace or soon Fab, which I'll show you how to download and add. We'll go over camera settings such as field of view and depth of field to create the distinct miniature look. Another big focus of this chapter are NPCs and the dialogue system. We'll create an interfaction interface and multiple UI widgets in which we can show the dialogue text we pull from our data table that can handle large amounts of text. You'll also learn how to create smooth UI transitions and show the text letter by letter. We'll cover navigation meshes and allow our NPCs to roam around town while also creating a special NPC type that can join our team and follow us around. Near the end I'll walk you through creating a material that allows us to view our character through buildings and objects that are blocking our view. And to finish things off, we'll use the sequencer tool to create a cutscene with our hero arriving at the town and being stopped by the guards. This 17 hour course will teach you all the fundamentals you need to move on to creating your own dream top down games. Again, check the link in the description to get a huge discount and start learning.